guys, welcome to the review, and today we're working on the Wild Imagination. Uh, this is a spell we just get from the Toy Story event that just came back. I was able to level up my characters high enough so that I could get this spell unlocked, and I'm excited to see what this is all about. I know it is one of the most powerful spells, it's just up there with the uh, Bucket of uh, Soldiers, also with Peter Shadow, uh, with the more Potion, the Fairy. Stuff like that, so I know this is a very useful spell. Let's see what it's all about. Unlocking it first. Deals up to 50 damage to all opponents, and it gets an additional 15 per level, so not bad, so you really can hit a lot. Inflicts a health block, that's crazy, for two turns on a target opponent. 25% chance to inflict health block for one turn on any adjacent opponent, so essentially, by whatever target I pick, they will get a two turn health block and then an additional 25% chance to do it to someone else on the side. Okay? Um, he gets a 5% bonus chance per Toy Story teammate to inflict a health block on an adjacent opponent. So, I guess if more Toy Story events, your percentages just go up. It seems like it. Interesting. Uh, let's take a look at level two inflicts continuous for two turns on target opponent and adjacent opponents, okay? 5% chance per Toy Story teammate to inflict a health block on adjacent opponents, okay? And then, all, oh, also a 5% chance per Toy Story teammate to inflict fear on adjacent, ooh, that's interesting. And then one more duration at level four to health block for primary target. So definitely a uh, very interesting spell. Uh, a lot of effects that could go on there, a lot of harmful effects to go onto one character and any opponent adjacent to it. So you really want to take the time to level this up. You can't spend the gems if you need to. But I really like the fact that it inflicts fear also. So that's a cool spell. But let's take a look in some quick gameplay, see how fast this is and go from there. All right, I got my team together and uh, I put all the Toy Story characters I have right now. I don't have um, Bo Beep, I'm like three tokens away to unlocking will beep and then I'll be able to put a video out for you guys but uh, let's take a look how fast this particular spell is So it seems like the imagination is very uh, fast. Uh, it seems faster or the same as Peter Shadow. We just, at the end, uh, we got hit and it got charged up all the way. But, but it very seems like this one's a very fast spell as well. So it's definitely gonna be useful going forward. But let's try it out and see what it's all about. Lord. Ooh, and the parts too. So, Inflicted a fear and a health block on this character. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to All right, let's let's speed this up a little able to finish it up um, again this is not a continuous spell like the bucket of soldiers nor the Peter shadow where it's a continuous spell effect but it is cool because it's just as fast and could cause some additional you know harmful effects with the character uh, it doesn't stay here oh because I didn't go down more. oh that's understandable. 
So it does inflict two fear for two turns on a target opponent and a 5% chance for twice for your teammates to inflict fear on adjacent one. So, interesting. I should have waited to use that spell to see it on the next one, but it really didn't make a difference anyway. So, but, um, all right, well, at least I know it comes with fear too. So that's really cool, really useful. Definitely helps out if you're trying to do a little bit strategic on your spells as far as this particular character you're trying to finish off and you don't want it to get healed because they have Dr. Facilier or something else, uh, maybe like an aerial or something, you know, you want to, you could use this spell for that reason. So uh, it seems very useful. I have to do more testing on it, but as of right now, it's pretty fast, pretty fast, I can say. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Really appreciate you watching my videos. Please hit the like and subscribe button below. If you can, please also share my content, my videos. I'm trying to grow my channel even more and could use your help to do so. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to show it off to some friends or you know someone that you know that plays the game as well, please share my videos. Let me know what you guys think and I'll, I'm more than happy to help you out. And I respond pretty good soon. So anyways, thanks so much guys. Have a nice day. Bye.